The Mexican authorities pursuing their case against an American suspected, suspected of killing an acquaintance at a luxury resort. They're looking to extradite the suspect to face charges. ABC's Zareen Shaw joins us with more as that woman still hasn't been named. Zareen, good morning. Hey, good morning, Janae. A 25-year-old went down to Mexico with some friends to celebrate someone's birthday. And just one day into that vacation, she turned up dead. And now officials have another big problem on their hands. Their prime suspect is no longer in the country. This morning, a potential legal limbo as Mexican prosecutors seek to extradite an acquaintance of Shanquella Robinson, the North Carolina woman found dead while vacationing in Mexico. Authorities are not currently naming her, but say she is a direct aggressor against the 25-year-old after a video online, too violent to show, reveals Robinson assaulted in her hotel room. Mexican authorities issuing an arrest warrant for that acquaintance, now back in America, for the crime of femicide, the act of killing a woman based on her gender. On the one hand, the U.S. government is going to take this seriously, and on the other hand, it's not obligated uh, to turn her over. On October 29th, local police reports state that a Baja Resort town guest told medical staff around 2 in the afternoon that Robinson had drunk a lot of alcohol. A doctor determining she was stable but dehydrated, adding Robinson's acquaintances refused to send her to the hospital. The police report stating the Charlotte native went into cardiac arrest, declared dead by 6 p.m. But an autopsy differing from that report, stating medical officials arrived before 3 p.m., quickly declaring Robinson dead from severe spinal cord injury and a dislocated neck. Robinson's family wants answers. I'm just waiting on that day when I, someone can be arrested. That's all I'm waiting on. As for those contradictions, Dan Abrams tells us that can happen when you have different officials looking into the same case, but that can be problematic for prosecutors. Janae? Still so many unanswered questions. Zoreen, thank you.